Do you remember the Tesla Wardenclyffe Tower that was ordered to be destroyed by JP Morgan? JP Morgan said, if we can't put a meter on it, we don't want it. Remember the Florida Hurricane Irma evacuation and all the Tesla cars received an extended range on the battery? How is that even possible? Okay, maybe there's some extra battery in there, but did they wirelessly transmit electricity to the cars like the original Nikola Tesla said was possible? Remember Napster when people used to download MP3s for free and they've spent the last 20 years initially conditioning us to purchase from within their own ecosystems like iTunes, but now paying a monthly fee for streaming audio? Remember in 2010 when a man crashed an airplane into a Texas IRS office, the story came and went and there was no prolonged news coverage of it. Do you remember learning that Andrew Jackson was the first and last president to ever pay off the national debt? Yeah, me either. But I do remember learning that he killed all the Indians over and over again, but never learned about the bank war. You need to And the big picture is that we haven't needed fossil fuels since about 100 years ago. You need to do you remember that huge explosion in Beirut, Lebanon, I think in the year 2020? I don't recall any prolonged news coverage explaining what happened there. It just kind of happened and everybody forgot about it. Do you remember the much publicized SpaceX launch on May 28, 2020 on a Thursday where huge crowds of scientifically minded SpaceX spectators gathered on the Max Brewer Bridge in Titusville hoping to see the first U.S. crew mission in almost a decade? But here's the key to this picture. This is a little over a month of after 14 days to stop the spread and the goalposts kept getting moved. Well, anyway, these people didn't care about social distancing at this point. And when I saw this happen, I said, ha, well, looks to me like science has turned its back on the pandemic. And this photograph came out. Now this was during the day. And when all this non-social distancing occurred and it appeared as if the live action role play had continued and ran its course because all of these inconveniences finally impacted the science community because trust the science. You know what happens the same exact day? The first George Floyd riot begins. Do you remember the BP oil spill that had everybody outraged and the news coverage of it seemed to be 24 seven for weeks at a time. And then all of a sudden they stopped talking about it and everybody forgot all about it. And once everybody forgot all about it, a movie came out, Deepwater Horizon, that made it seem so heroic. And now that's essentially the only memory that remains from the event. It's the replacement memory. Do you remember all of the core exit dispersant that was sprayed onto the oil in that situation? And then finding out that it may cause acute respiratory issues and potential environmental hazards to all of the sea creatures. And the studies showed toxic effects on the oil and core exit mixture on phytoplankton, as well as larger species, including conch, oysters, and shrimp. <laughs> Do you remember in 2010 when nearly the entire Polish government was killed in a plane crash going to a memorial for a World War II atrocity of Russians killing the Polish? And to conduct the investigation were the Russians and Vladimir Putin and they found nothing wrong. Oh, the 998,000 Epstein documents that weren't released. Hunter Biden's laptop, Anthony Weiner's laptop, the laptop Debbie Wasserman Schultz tried to get custody of. To confiscate members' equipment when the member is not under investigation. It is their equipment and it's supposed to be returned. I think you're violating the rules when you, when you conduct your business that way and should expect that there would be consequences.
Now you're back. Frazzle drip. Recording Seth Rich, who was the woman rescued from Honduras, the $10,000 in cash that George Papadopoulos has sitting in his lawyer's office, the optimal raid in Cleveland and Miami, what caused the Malaysian airline crash and the TWA crash, and what caused the Notre Dame fire. Oh, yeah.